previously on Beauty and the Baller. So who's your new bill? Sergio. Mm. I knew a Sergio once. He was a pimp. You'll meet him. When? I don't know. Maybe this weekend. The what? The Quan. Remember that movie, Jerry Maguire, where Cuba Gooden Jr.'s character tells Tom Cruise about that thing that kept he and his wife together? You don't want my big sister to find her Quan, just like I did. Well, I just hope her Quan doesn't pull up in a gold Cadillac wearing a gold rope over a gold suit with a gold front holding up a gold chalice. Dina, John, this is Sergio. Sergio, this is my sister Dina and her husband John. What's up? <sighs> okay, you're not gonna believe this, but I think I know my sister's new boyfriend. For real? Remember when we were in the islands? For your 21st birthday? How could I ever forget? I'm talking about that night that I didn't come back to our hotel room. The night that I had my first and only one night stand. That's your one night stand? That's my one night stand. Honey, I'll always love you. I promise to always love you. Cause I think the whole world of you. And you can't change that. You're the only one I love. And you can't change that. Are you sure that's your one night stand? I'm positive. Except his name wasn't Sergio, it was. Ronnie. Bobby? No, oh, Ricky. Are you sure it wasn't Ralph? Because if it was Ralph, you had sex with New Edition. <laughs> Tony. His name was Tony. Tony or Tony, Tony, Tony? Okay, queen of comedy. Okay, if that guy's name was Tony and this guy's name is Sergio, then maybe he's not the same guy. Or maybe he just used a fake name when he was in Jamaica. Come on, who does that? You didn't give him your real name? I mean, he could have been the Kingston Strangler. Oh, so you won't give the Kingston Strangler your real name, but you'll give him some booty. I was young. He was cute. Still is, girl. When I was young and single and on an exotic vacation, I might have had some fun with you, but I would never give you my real name in a situation like that. Not that I've had a lot of situations like that. It only happened once. What about the time we went away for my 21st birthday? Which one? Brazil. I was good. No, I was good. You were the hoe on that trip. <laughs> hoe is mm. such a strong word. I prefer adventurous. <laughs> In Jamaica, what did uh, you tell Tony your name was? Tina. Tina? You told the Kingston Strangler you were me? Well, I didn't think I'd ever see him again. Now you know that's not even right. <sighs> I mean, who would have thought that something I did 10 years ago would come back to haunt me? Just be thankful you've never made a sex tape. <laughs> thankful for a prayer, hush money, and safety deposit. <laughs> hey, if you both gave each other fake names, you can't prove it was him, and he can't prove it was you. You basically cancel each other out. Well, what do you mean? Okay, let's keep it real. Sometimes when we go out of the country and do something naughty, when we get back, it doesn't count, right? Omierta, code of silence. So what you're saying is... Act like it never happened, and it never did. Omierta. Act like it never happened. Omierta. You might be the king of the court, but Tommy is the prince of pool. I've been playing this game ever since high school. Well, considering you were there for eight years, you must be pretty good. <laughs> it was six, and I graduated with honors. In perfect attendance. <laughs> Keep talking. Watch and learn from the master. Hmm. What'd you push me for? I didn't push you. Yes, you did. Everybody saw it. This is pool, not boxing. What you gonna do next? Bite my ear off? <laughs> I'm handing this stick over under protest. Give me the damn stick. <laughs> Corner pocket. Woo! What you say to that? Trash talking, Tommy. Of course it went in. It's your house. 
home felt advantage. Venus is a science like geometry, only without all that oppressive math. And I'm like the professor. Yeah, without a degree. <laughs> I have a degree from the University of whoop oh. Yeah. More like the University of Scratch-Ass. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that the table wasn't level? A level playing field? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, seemed pretty level to me. <laughs> <laughs> of course it does. I make the sacrifice, and you go up the ladder and forget who gave you the boost to get up there. Typical. Hey, brother. It's still my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Step aside, please. <laughs> Aha! Yeah, I love pool, man. It is a gentleman's game. So is masturbation. You should know. You always claim to be the master. <laughs> <laughs> See that? That's what you get for talking trash. Mm. See? If you're gonna talk to talk, you gotta walk the walk. In the compass, brother? What are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna hit the two ball mm. into the nine ball. Right. Squeak past the eight. Squeak. <laughs> Brush the ten is gonna bank and then ever so gently drop the twelve. Do you plan on doing that today? <laughs> Parker Jr. is here at our party. My family back in Colombia is not going to believe it. Who you going to call? Los Casa Fantasma. <laughs> Apple martini and a Long Island iced tea. Here you go. Martin, this is not what I ordered. It's all the same. Devil use. You won't see the devil if you don't get me my drinks. So, Dina, you having a good time? I am. Yeah, your sister is too. I'm glad. I am too, you have a real nice family. Thank you. Is there something wrong? No, oh. Merita, I, I mean, why? Because you're talking with your back to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, that's because I, uh, I hurt my neck. Really, when? Um, oh, right before you came up. Yeah, I was, uh, I tweaked it. No, I was doing, doing the snake. Oh, there it goes again. I don't know if Joy told you, but I'm a chiropractor. I don't mind giving you a, a neck no. adjustment. No, <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. Wow, feels better already. Uh, who knew that talking could be so therapeutic? <sighs> Thanks, uh, buddy. A Cosmo and a Chardonnay. Is it me or have we met before? Uh, I think it's just you. It's just that you look so familiar. You, you sure we've never met? Sergio, I think I'd remember if we met. Wait, 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 wait. Have you ever been to Jamaica? Never. Oh, Merita. <laughs> Who you gotta call? Los Casa Fantasmas. <laughs> Who you gotta call? Los Casa Fantasmas. <laughs> So, did your guests enjoy your sister's birthday party? Uh, they loved it. I mean, I'm still getting calls, texts, and tweets saying how awesome it was. 
Somebody even started a Facebook page. You can just feel when it's going to be awesome. I had that awesome feeling after I was done with everything. It just felt, you know. Awesome? You took the words right out of my mouth. I don't know what I'm doing. Wasting my time examining vaginas and listening to people's problems. <laughs> I should be planning awesome events like yours all the time. Oh, you are an awesome event planner. Merci beaucoup. Mm, okay, now back to my $100 an hour session. 120, our rates went up in January. <laughs> so, I found out at my sister's birthday party that her new man and I had a fling 10 years ago in Jamaica. But neither of us has to admit it because we both used fake names when we hooked up. So we can't really prove that we hooked up, even though we know we did. And now you're torn between telling your sister about your hookup with her future baby daddy or taking that dirty little secret to the grave. Are you also a psychic? Because you just read my mind. Is she serious about this stud muffin? I mean, she really likes him, but they just started dating. I'm not sure. It's still playing itself out. Why do you feel torn? Because she's my sister. We don't keep secrets from each other. I mean, I would hate for Joy to find out that I knew and didn't tell her. I see. But if I told her, it could ruin our relationship. I mean, you know how people are when they're really feeling somebody. They'll do anything to protect the Quan. <laughs> From Jerry Maguire? That movie has ruined so many relationships with its unrealistic view of true love. You complete me. How lame is that? You can't complete anyone unless you're complete first. Okay, but Cuba Gooding talked about the Quan. Tom Cruise said, you complete me. And look at him today. Jumping on Oprah's furniture. Can't keep a wife to save his life. Still looking for completion. Well, Tom, it starts in here. In here, Tom. Not out there. Did Joy say anything about the party? Oh my gosh, she cannot stop talking about it. She really liked it. But she didn't love it. Oh no, I'm, I'm sure that she loved it too. Yay! <laughs> okay, look, back to my dilemma. I, I can't wait until I have enough clients so I can stop practicing medicine and psychiatry and follow my true passion, party planning. Doc, if you give up medicine and psychiatry for party planning, people aren't gonna say that you followed your passion. What are they going to say? That you lost your damn mind. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that maybe I never wanted to be a doctor or a psychiatrist? That maybe I was forced into this life by an overachieving tiger mom and dad who never took me to the mall or told me I was pretty, but just nagged and pushed me to study 24 seven until I got into Harvard and Stanford and MIT. Do you know what that's like? Most Americans don't know what that's like, but whatever your parents did to you, Americans need it done to their kids twice. This isn't about me, it's about you, so please don't change the subject. Now, you have a decision to make. Tell your sister the truth about your fling with her little private dancer many moons ago, or take one for the team. But what would you do, Doc? I can't tell you, it's your call. But if it were my call, I would consider taking one for the team. Really? Why? You don't know where this is going. If it goes nowhere, you've dropped a bomb for nothing. If it goes somewhere, you've poisoned something that was pure. But it's just that now every time I see her, I just, I feel so guilty. You, you, you. Is it always about you? Uh, it better be for $100 an hour. 120. <laughs> now what about your sister's feelings? You tell her the truth and your guilt is washed, but now she feels like crap. How selfish is that? Hella selfish. But I can't tell you what to do. It's just what I would do if I were you. Omerta. You know about Omerta? Oh, yes. It's the women's code. Thank you so much, Dr. J. Don't thank me. 
Send me more clients. Oh, I will. Because I know so many people that need therapy. Not for therapy. Party planning. <laughs> <laughs> A little pinch. <laughs> Dominos? Yes! Wow! <laughs> and he just learned how to play. You were helping him. I was not. Was I helping you, Martine? Nada. She's just a sore loser, always has been, even in the sandbox. <laughs> Two out of three? Three out of five, five out of nine, nine out of 17. She's so competitive, won't quit until she's a winner. We could be here all night. Lowest score gets the door. I don't know it. I wasn't always a rich housewife. <laughs> Sis, we need to talk. Okay, uh, so what did you want to talk about? Sergio. Did he? Yeah, he did. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is terrible. This is not how I wanted it to happen. It's... How can he do something like this? talking about? Sergio. What about Sergio? He dumped me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, why? I don't know. Something about me reminding him of an ex. An ex? <laughs> Ever since the party, he's been acting so weird. He stopped returning my phone calls. He didn't want to hang out anymore. Lonnie, I'm so sorry. I just thought this time it'd be, it'd be different. I, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. I know you probably don't want to hear this right now, but it, it was, was his loss. loss. Yeah, I know. I mean, I knew, I knew we had issues. I'm intro, he's extra. I'm an early riser, he's a night owl. I love the arts, he thinks they're boring. What did I even see in him? He was cute. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you for reminding me why smart women make poor choices in it. <laughs> anytime, anytime. You know what's funny? What? The whole time I was dating Sergio, I kept thinking, he's so Dina's type when she was single. <laughs> Sergio and me? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Because I would never go out with a guy like that again. I mean, at all. <laughs> the only thing I'll miss about Sergio is that trip he promised to take me on. Trip? Where? Jamaica. Now you know I've been to Jamaica. It ain't all that. Sister, sister, my sister, sister, can you hear me? Me and you from the same place. You wanna go slap some bones? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm a dominologist, right? Okay, well I'm a dominologist. Mm. We'll see. So let's go. Let's go. Mm. Can you hear me? Me and you from the same place. And this ain't how it should be. Okay. Last jam of the night. 
dedicated to my big sister and brother-in-law in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Quan. 